In the midst of the dairy crisis, Coles and Woolworths have started a new war. This time, it's cheese. Here's the truth about $6 cheese. It takes a whopping 10 litres of milk to make a one kilogram block of cheese. The maths is simple. The 10 litres of milk used to make each one kilogram block sold for $6 is worth less than 60 cents a litre. We have to allow a little bit more for the profit processes can make for whey. This watery leftover from cheese making is dried to make protein powders used by bodybuilders. Industry insiders say to allow about 25 cents profit a litre. So why is the milk for cheese still worth less than 60 cents? Because making cheese is a big deal. You have to standardise the milk, pasteurise the milk, add the cheese starter culture, then coagulate the milk, cut and stir the curds, salt the cheese, who can press the cheese, mature the cheese, cut, store and wrap the cheese. Then, of course, it's got to be freighted around the country. All that before the supermarket takes its cut. Willies has said time and time again that $1 milk is unsustainable and not good for farmers. If $1 is not enough, what about less than 60 cents? Obviously, someone has to miss out. Will it be the supermarkets known for their ruthless bargaining? Will it be the big corporations which process the cheese? Or will it be the farmer who has the least bargaining power of all? Cheese is a really big deal for farmers. While 26% of milk from Aussie farmers becomes drinking milk, 30% goes into cheese. So the supermarket discounts on these really important dairy foods hit farmers hard. So here's the thing, the milk wars began in 2011. Now, in the wake of the dairy crisis, we have the cheese wars. 781 dairy farmers have gone since the milk wars began. So please, Coles and Lilies, it's time to stop the war. We're not falling for cheap cheese.